When Jeff Hamilton died earlier this week, television viewers all over the country must have felt that they'd lost a great friend. For 17 years, on a Friday night, they'd watched him sowing and planting, often in his own garden at Barnsdale, and whether they were keen gardeners or novices, they, they couldn't have failed to have been impressed by his easygoing manner, his friendly approach, and his sheer passion for gardening. I first met him more than 20 years ago now, when I began to write for a gardening magazine he edited. He had a jacket and tie then, but he became known more recently as the man in the sweatshirt with the jeans that had muddy knees. I guess the muddy knees became Jeff's trademark, along with his passion for organic gardening. And the wire coat hangers, plastic film and old floorboards, out of which he could make a cold frame that he reckoned looked like the Crystal Palace. Whenever we met, he'd say, you're right, boy. I'll miss that. But then a lot of people would miss him. When people would say to me, what's Jeff Hamilton really like? I'd have to say, well, he's just what you see. He's a regular guy who's crackers about gardening. In Gardener's World, with millions of loyal viewers, it was his world and the world he loved best. Twenty sixteen is the twentieth anniversary of Jeff Hamilton's death. Since nineteen ninety six, the garden he developed whilst presenting Gardener's World for the BBC has been maintained and further developed by his son, Nick. We are of the generation that watched Gardener's World when Jeff was its presenter and our tour around the 38 separate gardens that comprise Barnsdale brought back many memories. We visited the gardens, which are located near Oakham in Rutland, in May 2015. We were very impressed by what we saw and very much enjoyed the visit. If you're lucky enough to have the opportunity to visit Barnsdale Gardens, we would very much recommend them.